Hello everyone, how are we doing today? So today we are going to be going over the muscles of the head and the neck. Now we're not gonna name all of them, but we're gonna go over most the important ones that might show up on a practical again for you. Um, so these are the main ones right here. Uh, so we start out at the uh, anterior side and then we go back to the posterior side. And then the videos after this, we'll be going into the other models we have in the lab and looking at the uh, chest, back, abdominal region, and so forth. That's these models over there. We won't get there today. Uh, but first, we're focused on head, neck, head and neck. And this model is the um, Alte model, A-L-T-A-Y, if it happens to be one that you want to look up. Um, but we're going to go through here and name the important one. So let's start back here. And right there seems good. All right, so let's go through this. And like we did on the other videos for the lab, let's label the important parts. Um, let's make that a little bit more thin here. So let's label that muscle. Uh, let's label this one, that one. So here, we'll, I'm drawing the lines right now. Uh, and then I'll go in and write what each one is. Just want to orient all the lines first so I can make sure I get them right. Um, so here are the ones we'll label on this one. Now switching back to the pen now, we can go through and label them. The first muscle is the one right up here. This is called the frontalis muscle, also sometimes referred to as the frontal belly. Let's spell it correctly, frontalis. Next are the circular ones that go around the eye. Um, these are the obicularis oculi. oculi, oculi around the eye, compared to this one down here, which are also circular. So these are bicularis oris. Boom. And then on the side over here, I hard to see, I did a bad job recording this video um, because the other side here are the deep muscles, but these ones, this one on the side here is called the temporalis large muscle covering your temporal bone temporalis and then right over here uh, so we have one coming down this way and then there's also one going up here which i won't label but just showing so there's a inferioris and a superioris version of this this is the depressor depressor labii and then inferioris whereas this one is the uh, depressor labii superioris. And then right here, we have the mentalis, which is the mental region or the front of your chin. So right here are the first ones I wanted to label at this angle. There are a lot more we're labeling on this. So this is just uh, part one. So if you wanna take a screenshot of this, definitely do that now. Whoops. And yes, whoops, my cursor got way too big now. There we go, perfect. Uh, so I'm going to clear this. So take a screenshot if you need to. All right, now we're going to move forward in the video here. So moving forward, we're now going to look at the medial aspect of this and see what else we can label, which is a lot. Uh, so about, let's go right here. So we can get a good shot of the trapezius in here as well. All right, so this is a good spot. So now let's label everything we can here. We're not gonna worry about the two little um, auricle muscles up here, but here's an important one, uh, zygomaticus major. Uh, right here, we have the masseter. Now the buccinator is underneath this layer of fat here. Uh, so it's not shown well on this, but this one right here is the resorius. Uh, then this one right here, the presser anguli, Oris. So again, they say it takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile, so you should smile more. And then right here is my favorite muscle because it tells you everything about where it goes and where it comes from for the insertions and the orange origins, the sternocleidomastoid. Over here then are your is the trapezius. Now we're going to name a couple of the muscles uh, around the hyoid region. So remember right here is the hyoid bone. Uh, first one right here is this one that comes down through here and then goes that way. That is the digastric and then there's one right here as well that's the milo hyoid uh, then there's two right down here that i want to name we have the sternohyoid and then we have the omo 
hyoid. So I'm going to go through and write these in for you now. So here we have the uh, zygomaticus. Oops. Maticus. And this is the major. Now I didn't label the minor, but the minor is uh, right there. So it's a smaller version of that. Uh, and then this one right here is the resorius. This one is then the masseter. This one right here is in the depressor anguli orbis, orbis. Depressor anguli orbis, sterno clidomastoid. And then this one is the trapezius. Remember, this is no longer called the traps, it's called the trapezius now. And now we have the ones around the hyoid, the ones that I'm picking out on this model right here. First one is the mylohyoid. Next one is the digastric muscle. So gastric, think of it as being important for swallowing. Uh, then the uh, infrahyo muscles or infrahyoid muscles are one here is the one that attaches down to the sternum. So that one would be the sternohyoid. And then the one that goes down this way is the omohyoid. So omohyoid, sternohyoid, digastric, mylohyoid are the only ones I'm really labeling in that region here. So that's this part. So if you want to take a screenshot of this, please do that as well. I'm about to clear it. All right. Last angle I wanted to get here was on the back. Uh, so the back of the neck, we can label a few more. So looking about right here. Let's move back up and center it right there. A few more we can label on this one. So we have the one on the back of the head here. So we have the frontalis, the temporalis. What do you think this one is called? The occipitalis. Correct. Um, and then there's one that comes down right here along the cervical vertebrae, uh, the semispinalis capitis. And then there's one that comes down here, um, this direction, obliquely. This is the splenus capitis. And then uh, out here, there's one that attaches to the uh, spine of the scapula right at that edge. That is the levator scapulae. So we'll label that one too. Uh, and then two of my favorite ones, we have this longer, it looks more like a parallelogram, but then this one down here kind of looks like a rhombus. So we have the rhomboid minor, which is a smaller one, and the rhomboid major, which is the larger, larger one. So let's label these now. So uh, occipitalis. This one then is the semispinalis capitis. This one right here, running this direction then, is the splenus capitis. That's splenus capitis. And then right here is the levator scapulae. Right here, rhomboid minor. And then the larger one, the rhomboid major. Apologies if you can't he hear, uh, not hear, read my writing. Um, the writing pretty fast right there, but they should have gotten it correct in the caption, so you can check there as well. But so this is all I have uh, for this one right here. I know there are more muscles here, uh, but I didn't want to go through them all on you. So if we just play this through again, and then we'll end it with this by showing the overview again of the model. So you want to make sure you study this and look at the different models. The next video coming up, we'll be looking at the chest, back, abdominal region. Then we'll move into a video on just the arm and then a video on just the leg. So that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I hope you all have a great day and bye-bye. <music>